Hi, it's Vince from My Life Mits. Thank you so much for stopping by. So this is the continuation to the December daily video. I'm working on day number, I think it's 14, 15. And I, to be honest with you, I kind of lost my December daily or my Christmas mojo or my spirit. And I decided to not have to force myself to journal about Christmassy things. And you probably already know I mentioned this several times in the past that Japan doesn't really celebrate Christmas uh, like they do back home in Canada. So I just decided to journal and document what we've been doing lately, which is visiting the parks around here and um, enjoying the outdoors, especially on the weekends when it's been nice. Um, it's it's kind of strange to see the fallen leaves or like the uh, the foliage in December because <laughs> I'm used to seeing it in October and things. I always remember seeing the leaves on the ground uh, during Halloween when I'm, you know, visiting. When I was a kid, I would, I remember the leaves kind of rustling between my feet um, going from door to door. I really, uh, it's so, so strange to have the, the leaves or like the fallen leaves in December. But anyways, that's like totally off topic. <laughs> But we've been really enjoying the outdoors on the weekends. It's been nice here. And so I thought I would just document about that instead of having to kind of force myself to um, work on some Christmas prompts. I am, I've decided to print out some photos from my cell phone. I'm just using a regular, uh, like regular copy paper that's in my printer. And I don't have anything like any special photo paper or any f special printer. It's just my regular printer at home. I decided to print those out and stick them in here using some washi tape. Because this is the feel note size, it is a lot smaller and I do appreciate the fact that I don't have to write a whole bunch. I'm not a huge writer anyways, but um, I thought I could tip that in and then I can write uh, right behind it. And that just kind of allows me to, it's more interactive to be able to flip up the different photos and then see my writing or my journal entry in like on, on the bottom there and because I felt that it was kind of plain I decided to draw a border this border you see in many many different videos and different creators it's a really simple doodle doodle type of border you just draw some messy lines and then you draw some stripes and it's very easy this process is very therapeutic for me. Um, yeah, it's just it's a fun way to dress your page in a way, or um, kind of yeah, dress your page or uh, highlight your journal entry. So I will end up doing my journal entry there in the box. And um, next, moving on to the next page spread, I received a beautiful Happy Mail package from. Um, Eva, oh, I forgot to mention the Santa stickers that you see here, like the really funny Santa stickers. They're from you, Techo. I will leave her uh, Instagram down below as well. She's very, oh gosh, I don't know what to say. Like she has so many inspirational um, flip throughs of her, her Hobonichi Techo. She sticks like everything in her Hobonichi Techo and in her journals. It's very, very inspiring. It makes me want to do the same. <laughs> Um, but yes, I will leave uh, Eva as well as uh, Utecho. Um, I'll leave their Instagram names down below. And I think I also used a, a bit of a printable from Juni. I will leave her YouTube channel down below as well. I think I I used part of um, one of her printables as a like part of the scrap for the date. Um, anyways, so yes, I received a lovely small little a package from Eva. You see there the stamp and the reindeer paper clip. I've never seen a reindeer paper clip and it was very it's very very pretty and I love the fact that the antlers kind of stick out a bit just enough um, so that I like I like how the like you can see there the yarn is sticking out or like the twine is sticking out. I like how bits and pieces stick out from my journals, especially the junk journals. So it's I just it just really fit perfectly. Um, and I'm now looking through the other photos. Uh, we went to a different park this other weekend and my kids both 
loved riding their bikes on the on the path. It's easy when there's like a nice path and the kids just kind of go around and around. It's it's really great when the path is is closed. <laughs> so you know even if they do speed up a little bit, that they eventually come back around. Um, but yes, so they were both riding their bikes. My son really enjoys riding a lot more than my daughter. She's getting the hang of it, um, but uh, they both really did enjoy their bikes. I'm not a, I, I don't know if you, you probably hear me talk about this often, but I'm not a huge bike rider. I ride my bike to get from point A to point B. That's my main mode of transportation in Japan. I'm very, very, I'm not very confident riding the bike, especially with the two kids uh, in tow and I still need confidence in terms of being able to transport them when I'm in the city. Um, lately I've been going out with them but we've just been walking. I can't... There's just so many people and I get so scared of hitting something or bumping into somebody else that's riding their bike. There's just people coming out of nowhere and bikes coming out of side streets and it's just very dangerous for me anyways. I'm not used to it at all so I'm slowly getting the hang of it. It's I feel like it's going to take me months for me to be comfortable riding a bike with both kids, but I will have to eventually do that because I can't always be walking from place to place. But anyways, this I'm I don't know why I'm talking about riding bicycles, but yeah, I I feel like if you don't want to document about Christmas or your holidays, I don't think there's anything um, that you ha you don't have to force yourself to do that. You can just write about what you've been uh, appreciating or what you've been doing lately. These beautiful stickers are from Job's journal. Of course, I will leave. You you probably already know him. I will leave his uh, YouTube channel and his Etsy shop down below. The stickers that he created was, was perfect for this uh, spread because I was writing or journaling about the outdoors, so I included some of that. And I think that's it for this spread. To be honest with you, I haven't really touched my December daily journal or junk journal. I've kind of filled out some pages, but I think, I'm not sure if I'll be filming any more before Christmas. I will most likely just do a last flip through, some sort of thing like that, and I hope that's okay. Thank you so, so much for watching. If I don't see you or if I don't talk to you before Christmas, Merry Christmas. I hope you have a wonderful time with your family and friends. I really appreciate you for stopping by during this busy, busy season. I love all of your comments and I read all of them and I try my best to respond to them, but I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.